Good evening. Tonight's programme is brought to you by the letter X, as they say on Sesame Street. More about that later. First to Southland, where police have swooped on alleged drug dealers, arresting more than 80 people. The operation was designed to hit hard at a gang's drug trading activities. Cathy Graham reports. But arrested only one gang member. However, most of the 81 arrested were gang associates, identified as drug dealers by an undercover agent. More than 100 police systematically raided dozens of homes throughout the province. By late morning, their luck was running out. Earlier in the day, they scored two and a half kilos of cannabis. A total of $80,000 worth of drugs have been seized in the operation. Uh, we only ever really get the tip of the iceberg, so it's very difficult to say. But they, there is a big distribution of drugs out there, and if you've got the money, you can buy it. A special sitting of the Invercargill Court began hearing the charges this afternoon. 58 Invercargill people are among those arrested. Some are being held in custody. Still in Invercargill, and the region's two top schoolboy rugby sides, King's High School from Dunedin and Southland Boys High School, met in their annual inter-school clash there yesterday. But as Ken Nicholson reports, there was something just a bit different about this game. It was one of the hundreds of inter-school matches played around the country each year, but this one between Kings and Southam Boys High School differed from the rest because of the man in the middle. He was an international test referee. And being a canny Scot, especially one who's done all-black games in the past, Jim Fleming knew there'd be a haka before a game in New Zealand, and he waited for the end of the Kings haka before he could get things underway. But there was one thing he hadn't taken into account. Oh, one each. <laughs> one each. We'll get it started one of these days, I suppose, hey? <laughs> but once the game got started, he was more in control of things. Straight out. Come back. It's easy. Break up. Hey, Billy, stop mucking about. <laughs> Going for the histrionic so barging out the back there. Number five. So Saturday's test referee had taken part in one of the more traditional rugby rituals of this country, and he had enjoyed it. Two hackers at the start certainly took me slightly by surprise. <laughs> uh, I, uh, one I expect, maybe two is, uh, is a bit strange, but uh, no, it was good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a good runabout. Well, the main reason you're here, of course, will happen on Saturday with, with the test match. Uh, have you got any expectations about that particular test? No, none at all. I, I'm looking forward to it. And as a totally unbiased old boy of the school, I have to report that Southland Boys High lost. Bad luck, Ken. Now the letter X makes its debut. It's been turned into a film star by Invercargill's deputy mayor, Mark Winter, who's also a cartoonist and a polytech tutor. Along with his students, Mark's produced an animated film called The Letter X, which is doing well on the International Film Festival circuit. Michael Lynch with this excellent report. Drive into Invercargill and you can hardly miss the giant mural on the Tay Street wall of the YMCA. Its architect was Pablo Kelly, West Coaster, but now a design student at Southland Polytech. But Pablo Kelly, tutor Mark Winter, and other students at the Polytech are making a mark far beyond Southland. They've set up the Think and in Ink company, making animated films, and their first effort, the letter X, is rolling its way towards success. It had applause aplenty at last weekend's Wellington Film Festival and is now off to festivals in Canada and the United States. The success is a tribute to hard work, nearly 3,000 drawings, and that's not counting the thinking time. Sequences that can take a few seconds on screen mean dozens of drawings. More sophisticated images mean hundreds. We did sort of 24 hours, all nighters on it, especially leading up to the shoot time. Um... In terms of hours, you're probably looking ooh, 200 hours, at least. Yeah. Single sequences alone could take up to two full 10 to 12 hour days, yeah. just to keep continuity, keep it um, consistent. How do you do it when it's only on screen for about a second? Good question. I, I well, don't know. Why do we do it? The theme of the four minute film is simple. The letter X, the outcast of the alphabet. Oh, 
Stand up straight, you tell us. Cross the teeth. Here's the place here. Come here. This is not good enough. It's night after night out of the town. No wonder we don't use you often. You're a disgrace to your race. I never like watching P's and Q's. No, but I'm essential. You're nothing but an O masquerading with a tail. Really? Send him away. E. E. I. O. You. This alphabet ain't big enough for the 26 of us, so you gotta go. Me, 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 go. Oh, help me, Q. Uh, not you, you. Exit. Time for the X. This oh, yeah. Seller. I am a valuable member of this alphabet. We are talking about things that are taken for granted. They are obvious things. That's what makes it so sort of humorous. I mean, I've always thought the X, which is a horrible word from a sign writer's point of view to actually have to write because it's so symmetrical, is a lazy letter because it never gets used. And that's why we based on this one. But animation is all about images. And this film has some beautiful drawing. Take, for example, the birth of the X. Matt Winter's idea is to set up a postgraduate animation course in Invercargill, one of the few in the country. He'll bring in outside experts and use northern film studios to help students transfer the drawings to film. In this game, nothing succeeds like excess. Going to X or you me? Imagine a world without the X. I am more than the symbol for an unknown quantity. That'd be difficult to identify X-rated movies. X stands for the kiss. I am decimal. The Roman numeral 10 uses my shape. Multiplication is also the name of my game. And what about sex? Without X, there'd be no end to it. Identity. I am the symbol for Christ. Xmas time is fun with lots of games to play. Who ever heard of noughts and cues? I'm a winner. People need me for my correction qualities when they give a wrong answer. And uh, I'm a cancellation sign. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, I'm symmetrical. I'm important. I am the only one awake. Oh, well, I'm off to where I'm appreciated. A diamond, a triple X, if you please. Great stuff. Well, the letter X would have had plenty of use this morning. It was excessively, extremely, excruciatingly frosty and extraordinarily beautiful as these excellent pictures show as we make our exit. Good night.